I found an issue already. Uh, diaphragm looks fine. I thought there might be an issue there, but there's not. I wanted to take the air fuel screw out. It is so far in and it's mullered. Um, I'd be surprised if that comes out. Also, it doesn't look right. Doesn't look, doesn't look like the right one. I mean, we've got, you know, we've got something to compare it with. We've got one here. And that one is, oh, it's also quite far in. Oh yeah, it is also quite far in, but it's not mullered. Um, let me see if I can get this out and see if we can do anything with it. When you take the air fuel screw out, it should have a spring and a little O-ring in there. If they're not in there, it won't function properly. So worth checking. Hopefully this turns for me. Uh, it doesn't look great. So it's it's absolutely mullered. Um, I can't get a flathead to to do anything on it really. The only thing I could do is it did come out a bit and it might even go back in. The only thing I could do is reseat it and set it, but if there isn't a spring and an o, o wash or a ring in there, it just would never work. I mean, if we were really lucky, the issue here was just the choke. I could put this back on now in a minute if I can get that at least baseline set. Um, and it could be all right. I am gonna check the, the jets just in case something's gone wrong down there as well. Let me see if I can get this seated. It, I think it will go back in. It's got enough grip, but it won't come out. There's loads of things you can do. I know some of you guys will be thinking, drill it out and stuff. Um, it's kind of no point. I doubt you'll find the actual air fuel screw to go back in without buying a second-hand carb anyway. Uh, my drills had it. I need to get a new set of drills at some point. I should do that. Um, every time I use it, it works for five seconds and it smells like it's burning. So my drills had it. Uh, but I, I wouldn't bother, again, for the same reason. I wouldn't have an air fuel screw to go back in. And it would be a very specific one to this model. So... Um, the jets were a bit, a bit clogged, and um, the air fuel screw is a pain. But I have reset it to a baseline setting, and it is still slightly adjustable down the bottom. Uh, my guess is, my guess is that it was over torqued at some point, so it's not fully working anyway as an air fuel um, fitting. Uh, but I don't see any other reason. The, the, the pilot jet and the main jet were, were blocked they won't fully open but apart from that i see no reason why this wouldn't go back on now and sound like a normal carb um i mean fine if, if it proves us wrong because great we know what to get uh so i'm gonna chuck it back on now as it is and see so this carb originally had an overflow issue um which it has just done to me so uh, it just spilled over with the fuel on, but I'm still gonna fire it and see what it sounds like. The fuel's off. So it might overspill. It's gone straight back to how it was. That's it, I'm not messing around. Simple. We need a new carb. Ah. You know, there's, um, that's it. That's it. There's no point messing. That carb looks fine. Uh, it's gone straight back to how it was before on that carb, which makes it really clear that something's not right. And it's probably something we can't fix, considering when these carbs pop up, they're 30 or 40 quid nuts nuts not to um order one uh so new carb that's really interesting it's really interesting how it went back to exactly how it was i wonder if i lifted the slide by hand i wonder if it's a diaphragm thing it didn't look like it though um that'd be interesting wouldn't it would that work i can't help myself one minute Sometimes I just need to know when to sit down. Right, uh, suck my hand off. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a diaphragm thing. Um, you wouldn't get that diaphragm, even though there'd be many companies that say it's the right one, but you wouldn't get that diaphragm. Uh, okay, all right, let's get online and see what's about. We know what we're doing. Um, I want to put uh, Gary's um, car back on why, why I'm here. Um, at some point, I want to look, oh, brake pads. Damn, I'm gonna order them right now. I need brake pads for his keyway. So, I've got an hour or two left in me today. Carb, it's gonna take a couple of days. Four spark plugs on order, couple of days. Brake pads all round on order, couple of days. Uh, I need to throw the carb in there. I think it's time to pull out the CB200 and start breaking the engine down. Uh, with that, I don't know the engine at all. I, I have no idea. I'm going to attempt to set it to top dead center at some point, And then I'm going to try and recognize um, what the system is for putting it back together. Um, if there's no obvious dotting system or line system or anything like that, you might want to use some paint pen on the cogs and on the chain. You want to do whatever you can to know that you can put it back together in its right kind of firing order really or it's not a firing order actually it's um timed time to top end and bottom end so uh when i pop that off I'll, i will show you um what i mean but the main thing is the lid will come off at first and then we'll look at what we're looking at and then it'll be there'll be a, a some sort of chain system a timing chain and uh, it will connect. I'm trying to think. It might be a singular one. I don't know. This is the fun part. So you pop the lid off. You see what's in there. And then we see how we set up the timing. Chances are it's similar to something like this. But we want to just make sure that it is. I believe it's a parallel twin. So pistons are both up at the same time. It is a parallel twin. And uh, we'll just make sure we're timed up. Pop the head off and see what we're working with. Uh, John says I wouldn't know that the rings were um, worn. That's a fair point. That's a good point. You can check the ring gaps. But I think I'm just going to assume that the rings are bad and order some new ones after looking at them. So here we go. Um, it's different. It's very different to what I'm used to. Uh, I'm actually going to wrap up, pull it away, and um, start it tomorrow because I'll have a whole day on it tomorrow. But uh, I wanted to pull it out and just remove the tank and just, just have a look at what I'm working with. So we've got an inspection panel at the top, which I don't think would do much. It's going to be the whole top end that we're taking off. Um, and I'll need to just be careful of the uh, paint work because it's, it's nice. I want to keep it nice. So um, yeah, tomorrow it'll be carbs off, exhausts off. Uh, you don't need to pull them fully off, you can just pull them aside uh, if if it works like that. It might not, they might need to come off. And uh, then at some point we'll just slide the valve cover train so the head off from there. Um, I do want to inspect the valves as well and just make sure they're all good and free. I might take them all out anyway and clean them because we have the tools, why not? and then it will be the actual cylinder sleeve off to see what the pistons are doing now again i won't be able to i won't know really if the pistons are good or bad you can put the rings in and you can test the gap there'll be an actual reading somewhere that tells you what the gap should be i am just going to go with the whole order some new rings throw them in put it back together and hope that the compression's gone up massively that that's kind of the route i'm going to go down